Kanso is an experimental relaxation game that came out in early access on PC at the very end of April. I picked it up on release because it looked weird and unique and interesting, and I'm glad to say it's all of those things and a bit more, so that's why we're doing a video today. Kanso is inspired by a calligraphy practice called Enso. The idea of Enso, apparently, is that you draw a ink circle on a blank sheet of paper every single day. The idea with this is that you're unleashing your creative flow, I guess, as you're doing that. But because you're trying to draw a lovely circle, it requires focus and attention of relaxation and you're forgetting everything that's around you, I guess. Canso then takes that idea and principle and puts it into a watercolour celestial kind of devotional environment where watercolours explode and, and bloom out everywhere. And that's all pretty and nice, and it's got some lovely, relaxing music in the background. But once you get past the initial stages where it's teaching you like how to make the circle by rotating your analog stick round quite slowly, it introduces the actual gameplay to Canso, which is fish. Now, these koi fish are going round on their own calligraphy patterns, and it's not your circle, but they will intersect with that circle. And these calligraphy patterns really remind me of a game that I've already reviewed on this channel called Engare, which uh, was like Persian Spirograph, the game, I guess is the best way to describe that. And these kind of Spirograph patterns that these koi fish are going around will basically cause you to have to plan out when you're going to make this circle, how fast you're going to go, and in what direction you're going to go. Because if you stop and take your finger off the uh, analog stick, or if you have to reverse and go the wrong way, or if you touch a koi cup, your circle is broken and you have to kind of go again. Now, in quite a lot of levels, you can kind of pick and go for it and it's okay. But as koi carp get more and more plentiful and they start doing different things, depending on the color of the koi carp, you have to be much more strategic about things. So some koi carp will follow and chase you. Some follow specific patterns. There might be lots going in um, like every couple of seconds around the calligraphy bits around the edges. Uh, and there might be some that just intersect and go vertically or horizontally across your path. So you just have to kind of be mindful of what you're doing. And then sometimes you can pause because the fish will continue on even if you're kind of in a pause motion. Sometimes you're just going to choose your point and do a quick loop round as best as possible. Now there's 128 levels currently in the early access as of release. There's planned to be over 300. Some of those levels are literally a sentence on a screen to try and evoke some kind of manifestation of relaxation. Uh, they didn't necessarily work for me. It was after the initial kind of 15 odd levels of that that the fish come into play and that was where for me the game truly started and I really enjoyed myself. So yeah that's Canso. It's out now in early access. Might be Marmite for some people because of uh, the relaxation and the genteel way of gameplay that takes place but for me it's a thumbs up. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplane Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.